YouTube. This is Mr. Mean. It is a glorious, glorious day. This Thursday, June 24th, the UPS man just knocked on my door and left me a present. So I want to preface this by saying, all right, all you lifers. That's right. Low Life 2090 physical hardback book is in the house. I could not be more excited. This cover looks amazing look at that wow and of course the uber cool background logo and then when it's sitting on your shelf it's gonna look so sexy oh my god it's gonna look really nice next to my low fantasy gaming um and i was flipping through the book uh taking some pictures of the post on my discord and i didn't even notice it until i uh was coming back and i thought oh man i gotta whip out a video real quick and it's special thanks and it goes through a bunch of people. Uh, Brent Taylor, Devin Beach, Cameron Orwin. I know Cameron. He's a longtime supporter of the channel. Uh, Glenn Fleetwood, Benjamin Colcliffe, Kyle Trisky Hotton, and John Mr. Mean Polak. Right on. Steve Grand, you the man, sir. You the man. So, guys, hardback. The art is phenomenal. This is from Drive Through. Uh, it looks uh, stitched looks stitched and glued in there, so hopefully it's not going to fall apart. I don't think it will. It, it lays flat, and the book looks nice. Uh, looks like it is only glued, not stitched. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I've already had the PDF, so I know what the book looks like, but I'm telling you guys, there is nothing that beats a physical copy of the book in your hand. Uh, it is uh, It is awesome. So for those of you that don't know, Low Life 2090 is Cyberpunk plus Sorcery. So if you've been playing Cyberpunk 2077 or Cyberpunk 2020 uh, and, you got, and you thought, man, it's a great game, but I wish there was magic. Or if you were playing Shadowrun and you thought, God, I wish the rules didn't suck so bad. Those of you who know, know what I mean. Uh, this is the game for you. This is, uh, I'm not going to do a full-blown review. This is kind of an unboxing, and I'm just going to gush about how freaking cool this game is. Um, I do have a live play up on my channel. Uh, go check it out down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, the art in the book is fantastic. Uh, Steve got some talented artists, and I don't know if it was, like, uh, free art that he used. I'm sure he may have used a little bit, um, but I think he did pay some artists. I'm going to have him on the channel, and, and Steve, I'm calling you out now because the book is all officially out. So you tell me when we can do a review, uh, we can do a chat, buddy, because uh, it's time. I know he's over there in Australia, I believe. So uh, matching up the time frames will be kind of hard. But look at that art. That's just one of the pictures. I'm going to get my big fat sausage fingers out of the way. Is that not amazing? Uh, I'm going to try and find a couple. Uh, this is one of the cool pictures. Uh, that was in the Kickstarter. Uh, so, uh, you know, kind of hearkening back to uh, Harley Quinn, so to speak. But uh, this this uh, meshes, you know, technology and uh, magic, you know, a little bit of fantasy in with your with your uh, sci tech, your c cyberpunk. Um, and it's just just downright all around freaking awesome. Uh, I'm I love seeing physical books. I mean, PDFs just do not do it for me. Steve was nice enough. Um, it's a funny story because someone, I, I don't know how I found this. If I found it on my own or maybe Nasser pointed it out, I'm not sure. Um, but I found it and I saw the Kickstarter. Oh, Nasser, I think Nasser did point it out to me. Uh, he's a big supporter of the channel, so a big shout out to him. Uh, and he pointed out uh, Low Fantasy Gaming to me. And I fell in love with low fantasy gaming. I uh, to to GM that is awesome. And so I saw this and I decided to back it. And like a dummy, I did not read. I just clicked on the the backing level of all the books or something like that. And without really paying attention, what I did is I backed. It was a throwback, basically. I, I wasn't necessarily backing this. I was helping to get this funded. But what I was going to receive is a Kickstarter reward was the books the low fantasy gaming books and i was like ah oh, shit and i didn't realize it until after the campaign had already funded and closed and so i reached out to steve i didn't know who he was i hadn't really talked to him and i said hey 
this is what I do, you know, and I made a mistake. Uh, and he was like, sure, man, uh, no problem. We'll, we'll get you squared away. And so he did. So I uh, got an email last week saying, you know, hey, the book is ready to be printed. Uh, just, you know, pay the cost, uh, you know, the, the, your cost for uh, printing, and we will send it to you. And sure enough, here it is. It arrived lickety split. So kudos to uh, Drive Through RPG. Uh, it, it, it was packaged really well. It's not banged up or dented or anything. Um, Sorry, I'm waiting for my wife and kid to get home, and uh, so uh, I thought I heard a noise outside. But here's some of the corporations, uh, which they look super cool. Um, a lot of stuff was added um, right at the very end of the Kickstarter. Um, like I said, I did a live playthrough with the early beta test of the rules. We had a blast. I think the Batman, who is uh, also a friend of the channel, is pretty popular on my discords is going to run a game and i think i'm going to get to play and i think i'm going to make some sort of like wizard or sorcerer or something like that uh with a little a little cyberpunk probably be good at guns and maybe a couple of knives because that's how i am I'm, I'm a knives don't misfire if you know what i mean so some of the art is fantastic some of the art i'm not wild about i will admit uh but i do like how they laid out the tables in this alternating like off off pinkish red you know peach color you know and then the white it really at least for my aged old eyes it lets me pick out the the charts and everything um the full color plate art and the half plate arts are these are uh the ergot they are uh they're weird you just gotta buy the book and read up on them but they are they're not nice um and then of course there's all your monsters so you've got basically the theme of shadow run and cyberpunk thrown together uh, and just done better than both of those put together, in in my opinion. Um, I, I, I if you're looking for a good <clears throat> um, cyberpunk with a touch of fantasy RPG where the rules aren't overly complicated, uh, you know, but still kind of familiar, you know, kind of familiar to fifth edition, but a little bit different. Uh, this is the game for you. This game is solid. Um, some really cool art. I mean, you know, throughout the book, uh, really cool pictures of guns and stuff. You know, who doesn't like all that stuff? There was a super cool backplate, too. Uh, I want to show that off. And a nice uh, couple of different watermarks on the pages, like a knife and some corporate symbols and, and things like that. So really nice. Character sheet, I think, is, uh, I think they, they tagged it really well. I kind of kind of like what your, your success chart down here or your levels of success. Uh, really nice character sheet. I think it's, it's done really well. Um, but there was this full page. Oh, there it is, which I think is super snazzy. And for those of you that don't know, if you're a miniatures fan, hold on one second. Um, Monster Fight Club is a, a relatively newcomer. Uh, they've, they've got a Kickstarter going. I think it may already be over or it's real close to ending, but they do 3D terrain and miniatures. And uh, these are some of the cyberpunk miniatures. Uh, it's 20 bucks for three miniatures. That's what I paid. Uh, and I mean, they're, they look like they're resin. Uh, three unpainted miniatures. This is the Edge Runners. Uh, and again, those would be perfect for your cyberpunk game. So if you like using miniatures, take a look at Monster Fight Club. Uh, this, uh, these are obviously specifically for cyberpunk, but they will work really well. And the cool thing about Low Life is you can use all your D&D or your Pathfinder miniatures because all the monsters are pretty much you can find an, an analog for them in the game uh, as opposed to what they are in D&D and or Pathfinder or various other fantasy games. But... Uh, my gosh, guys, cyberpunk and sorcery in a book. Uh, what are we looking at? We're looking at, I believe, get to the TOC. We are looking at 318 pages. That includes an index, uh, tons of art, little bitty pieces of art here and there. Um, a very well done character sheet, in my opinion. Uh, the charts are laid out really well. There's a lot of charts in here. I wouldn't call it Chart Master, the, the cyberpunk game, but it's uh, there's, there's charts for the GM. Players don't really have to worry about it too much unless you're a spellcaster um, and then, or, or a, 
uh, you have to, uh, you, you have the, I forgot what they call it. Oh man, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, dark Flux, Spellcasting Dark Flux, 105. Let's take a peek real quick. Maybe I can. There's a chart anyway. Every time you cast a spell, um, it will come back and, and kind of bite you in the butt. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, yeah, it's the Dark Flux. Uh, and basically, every time you you roll uh, you roll a d20, then you add one to the number. So it starts at one, and you roll it to two. And then after you cast your spell, whether it's successful or not, you roll a d20, and if it rolls equal to or less than whatever the uh, perilous magic is, uh, you're fucked, and you got to roll on a chart. And weird things can happen. Uh, so. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll just choose one at random here. Let, let's go with 63. Uh, a rift, a random enraged monster from the void appears within 1d10 meters of you. The creature wrecks havoc for 1d4 minutes and then vanishes. So the shit goes bad. Um, so you've got magic, you've got that element of surprise, that, that chutzpah that not too many others have, but there's a cost. And the more you sling magic, the higher that cost comes, and eventually you will slip and you will summon something nasty or do something nasty or backfire. And I like that repercussion. I like that option to, you know, magic is, you know, uber powerful, but yet it, it has a balance. You know, there's checks and balances in the game, you know, and a, and a machine gun can rip havoc, but so can a wayward spell. So, uh, you know, use magic at your own peril. Uh, so, I can't wait to make a full-fledged character. I've never made a character. I've made an NPC, but I've never made an actual player character, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to talk to the Batman and see what all we need to do and how we're going to make characters. I'm super excited. Uh, guys, if you haven't picked this up, do yourself a favor. If, if you can't afford the physical book, go get the PDF. It's reasonably priced on drive through. I'll put links down to the doobly-doo down below. Uh... This is totally worth it. Uh, Steve Grond is on my uh, Discord. He's very active uh, at Steve Grog, I believe is his uh, handle on Discord. And he's always awesome to deal with, always willing to answer questions. Super nice guy. Um, did me a solid, you know, converted my, my pledge and I paid the cost to have the book physically printed. This is Give Some Small Press Indie Love. This guy is working hard feed his family, go out and buy his book, use my code, puts a couple you know, pennies in my pocket, helps me feed my kid, and uh, you'll get yourself a super awesome game off of drive through RPG. Look at that cover. I love it. it. The camera doesn't do it justice, but when you see that that like neon sickly green and then the red and the yellow from the spell that the mage is casting, ah, it's, it's dope as hell. It's uh, super cool. Um, and of course the the low life logo logo I think is perfect. Um, then there's the pickpocket press logo, which is pretty solid as well. So all around, super duper, crazy looking game. Looks awesome. Hardback. Uh, what was it? Three hundred and twelve pages, I think we said, including an index. Three hundred and eighteen. Awesome character sheet. You can also download the character sheet off their website. Uh, you can talk about the game on my Discord forums. You're more than welcome to. We, uh, we have a pretty thriving community. Uh, I want to give a big shout-out. Um, so that's pretty much my thoughts on Low Life. Uh, I can't say enough good. Go pick it up. You're, you're going to be glad that you did. If I knew where the hell I put my cell phone. There it is. Uh, I want to give a couple shout-outs to some new subscribers. Uh, we are up to, and I'll tell you in just a second. Uh... We are up to 907 subscribers, so the plan was to reach 1,000 uh, by, by this year, uh, by the end of the year, so we're well on our way. Uh, let's, let's hope we can, we can make it, and uh, that will be super exciting. Uh, let's see here. So new subscriber, uh, Stephen Clow, John Miskimen. Uh, let's see, who else? Unfortunately, they don't give you just a list of new subscribers. You have to go through. Uh, Vito Fiscal. Uh, Brad O. Uh, 
Stone Axe Tabletop, which I, I gave him a, a shout out last week, and Rune Beard. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing. It means a lot. Let's get the channel up to a thousand subscribers. This is a talking head video uh, channel. Uh, we talk about games. Uh, that are my uh, YouTube or YouTube. My Discord community is very, very jumping. Uh, we have a lot of support on there. A lot of publishers and stuff. Uh, I, I, man, I'm, I'm grateful. You guys all rock. Everybody who uses my affiliate link on Drive Through RPG puts a couple pennies in my pocket. I really appreciate it. Uh, really, really helps out the channel. Uh, Kid Chaos Two. Uh, thank you so much for all the great recommendations of RPGs and stuff. Uh, I'm looking at the one you sent me the other day. Uh, for those that don't know, I just started a new job. I left IT. Uh, still working for the same major corporation. But uh, now I'm a warehouse coordinator uh, three, which basically means I manage a warehouse. And uh, I'm outside a lot. And it's a lot, very physical work. And I'm enjoying it immensely. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm learning a lot. Uh, and just a huge shout out to everybody that helped me get there. Uh, some of those people are on my YouTube, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. So hopefully they'll hear this and, and feel grateful and, and proud that they helped me achieve uh, a new career, a new step in my career. So I'm looking forward to bigger and better things. I'm really enjoying my job. Uh, and the channel's doing great. You guys are awesome. I love all the support. I try to answer every uh, YouTube comment um, when I get them even if it's just to give a heart or a like or whatever uh, you guys are awesome thank you so much for being such an amazing community and helping out uh, this big grognard you know who just loves talking about RPGs so without further ado I'm gonna say that's it I'm gonna wrap up as always like and subscribe hit that thumbs up hit the bell to be notified and as always peace and hair grease and remember Mr. Mean says be nice